My name is Sister Ann Horvath. I am uh, a worker down here at St. Vincent de Paul store, specifically at the Samaritan Well. I nominated Kathy Zimmerman for the top 20 persons that did the most that made a difference in this community. Now, before I can tell you all the things that Kathy Zimmerman did, I have to tell you about Vincent de Paul. St. Vincent de Paul Society is one that actually takes care of the poor. They're in their 20th year of serving the poor. And that means providing low cost clothing, furniture, household items, um, interviews for people who uh, qualify for free, free food, free clothing, free uh, household items. Now we were in this process uh, a long time before we started and introduced projects such as cooking, computer education, upholstery, and these and were introduced in order to help our patrons who uh, need help to acquire a skill so that they could enhance their, um, their income. Along with this came along Kathy Zimmerman who from Saint, uh, who asked St. Vincent de Paul to sponsor her for a program that she needed to do for her project at Penn State University. So she was the one who introduced Here Fayette, which is now a TDDP uh, P volunteer center. Here Fayette has become so popular that I cannot, I cannot begin to tell you how many projects Kathy Zimmerman has introduced for the poor. I wanted to thank Sister Anne especially for nominating me for the top 20, even though I probably don't deserve it because uh, I'm just a small <laughs> cog in the wheel of Fayette County. There's so many human service workers here that are just fantastic at what they do. But I thank Sister Anne, and I really want to thank St. Vincent de Paul for taking me in when I wanted to do this because it's been something that needed to be done. First, I had to go to Penn State to find out that it could be done and how it could be done. And then once I got rolling, St. Vincent de Paul decided that the program was worthy to be down here, and we got going. The problem with hearing loss is that it's an invisible disability, and a lot of people just take it for granted that everyone can hear, and we keep thinking of new projects that might help. The Highway Hearing Safety Project, that's my very special project that was inspired by a young man who is deaf and he was in an accident and whenever he was approached by people to help, he was using his hands to speak and only a little bit of verbal comment and everybody thought he was a maniac. They didn't know how to treat him. And the police, I think, were confused too. Likewise, I was in an accident and I was unable to communicate with the paramedics because of my hearing loss. So the Highway Hearing Project is designed to help police and ambulance personnel understand what it's like, how they can communicate with us. The card actually gives information to them about how to speak, but when you're the person who can't hear, you know how big a loss it is. If I can't speak properly to anyone out in public, or if I can't go to school and hear, I'm really in a world of my own, and it's not a good world to be. It's really a lonely place to be. So we got rolling with the Hear Fayette program after my education uh, at Penn State, and now we're reaching out and finding out how many people there are with hearing loss and what we can do to them, with them. I want to, I want to say, one of the most important things is how other people have inspired me. When I say I don't deserve this, I know a lot of people who do because they are the people who talked me into this. They are the people who had faith that I could do it. The people at St. Vincent de Paul who are volunteers down here are my biggest inspiration. They work so hard at what they do just to be able to help other people. And they have faith in me. And they've all inspired me, and I really, really, really have to thank them.